start by standing up. Our feet are hip width apart. Just take a deep breath here. Shoulders are down, chest is wide. Inhale here. And as you exhale, nod your chin to your chest. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. Keep your hips in line with your ankles. So that's more so saying don't let your bottom go all the way back. You can have a slight bend in your knees. Relax your head down. And then exhale, scoop up from the lower abdominals. And then re-stack up that spine nice and tall. The last thing to lift is your head. And then again, inhale here. Exhale, nod your chin to your chest, just folding down, stretching out the spine, bringing those fingertips towards the floor. Have a slight bend in your knees if you've got tight hamstrings or calves, let your head fold under. And then you're going to exhale, scoop up by using the lower abdominals, straighten out those legs, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. The last thing to lift is the head. Last one here. Inhaling. And exhaling, nod your chin to your chest, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Arms are nice and heavy. The hips are still in line with the ankles and the knees. Again, that slight bend in the knees if you wish. And then exhale. Let's re-stack up nice and tall. One vertebrae at a time. You should feel the spine is lengthened. And same with the hamstrings. From here, you're going to place your hands on either side of your head. And I just want you to exhale, rotate towards the right hand side, but keep your hips tracking forward. And then inhale, draw back through center. Exhaling, rotating out towards the left. Inhaling, drawing back through center. So working through the thoracic spine, just adding in that rotation. And you're also working the obliques here as well. Draw back through center. And then again, rotating. Back through center. Inhale, open up. Exhale, draw back through center. One more on each side. Keep the hips tracking forward. Shoulders are down, chest is wide. We've got our last one here. And draw back through center. So shift your weight towards your left leg. You're going to draw your right leg out. This one's a little bit of a balance challenge. But I want you to exhale, draw your right knee in close. Add in that rotation. Inhale, step it back. And then again, exhale, draw the right knee in. Inhale to step it out. So it's a bit of a balance challenge, but make sure the hips are still tracking forward. So working deep into that waist. Inhaling. And then exhaling, adding in that rotation. See if you can twist a little bit further. Good, we've got three more here. Feeling that left leg stabilizing. We've got our last two. Good, and we've got our last one here. Lower that leg down, swapping over to the other side. Extend the left leg long. Exhale, add in that rotation. Inhale to lower down. Exhaling, rotating around. Inhale to lower. Using your obliques on the right waist to let that upper body rotate. Using your breath, exhaling. Inhale to release. We've got four more here. Our last three, lengthen through that leg, two to go, and our last one here. Good, nice work, just relax those arms. Roll the shoulders back for three, two, and one. Now grabbing hold of those dumbbells, we're just going to start to work into our arms here. So our legs are still hip width apart, shoulders are down, chest is wide, arms are long by our side. You're going to exhale, float the hands so they're in line with the shoulders. Inhale to lower down. And then again, exhaling, floating those arms up. Inhaling to lower down. So I really want you to stay nice and steady throughout the lower half. Belly button's drawing in, back towards your spine. And we're just working on our arms here. Exhaling, floating them up. Inhale to lower down. We've got six more like this. Working through the tops of your arms. If you guys don't have dumbbells, you can grab hold of cans if you want, or shampoo or conditioner bottles, whichever feels like it's going to do the job. Exhaling, drawing up. Inhale to lower down. Let's do two more here. Good, and our last one here, we're gonna keep our arms nice and long. Shoulders are down, holding here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Can we pulse our arms up for ten? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Draw your arms out to the side now. You're going to lower them down, then exhale, draw up towards the side. Inhaling and exhaling. Shoulders are down, chest is wide. Our feet are still hip width apart, belly button's drawing in. Now this might not seem like a lot now with the one kilos, but it will feel like a bit of weight in a little while. Exhaling, drawing up. Inhale to lower down. Good. Using your breath, arms along. Your gaze is forward. We've got six more like this. Inhale to lower down. We've got our last five, starting to feel it through the arms. We've got four to go. Our last three. Good. Two more. Good. And our last one here. Keep the arms reaching long, holding here for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One pulse up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower those arms down. Nice work. So from here we're coming into our tricep. So I'm just turning to the side so you can see my form, but I'm bending down nice and deep within my knees. I'm sticking my tailbone out and I've got one long line from the crown of my head to my tailbone. Elbows are in close by my waist and I'm just exhaling, sending them back. Inhale to draw back in. Exhaling, reaching those arms back. Inhale to draw back in. My elbows are always close by my waist. They're not moving. It's just my forearms that is, is extending. Inhaling and exhaling, maintaining that bend throughout the knees. Belly button's drawing back towards your spine and using your breath here. Can we do five more? Inhale to draw back in. Our last four. Good. We've got three more here. We've got two. And our last one here. Keep the arms reaching back. Flip the palms up towards the ceiling. Holding here for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Pulse the arms up for ten. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up nice and tall. Nice work. Okay. So the good news is that we've already done that set. But the bad news is, is we're adding in a squat and also the same arms. So from here, our feet are hit width apart. Inhaling arms along down by our side. I want you to exhale, add in a squat. Raise your arms to shoulder height. Inhale to draw back up. Exhaling, squatting down. Making sure that that knee's tracking in line with the second toe. Your belly button's drawing into your spine. Your back is nice and long. We don't want any rounding there. And your gaze is looking forwards. Drawing those hands up to shoulder height. Inhale to draw up. We've got five more like this. We've got our last four. Three to go. Two. And our last one here, holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pulse the arms and the legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Standing up nice and tall, good. From here we're coming to that, our sides now, so you're going to keep the feet still hit with the part. Exhale, draw down low. Inhale to stand back up. Inhaling, sorry, and then exhaling, drawing back up. So using your breath to help you on the hardest part of the, of the exercise, which is the standing up tall. Inhaling, belly buttons to spine. Exhaling, drawing up. Six more like this. We've got our last five. Four to go. Three. Our last two, we're almost there. Good. And our last one, holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pulse the arms and the legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up nice and tall. Really starting to feel it through the deltoids. All right, last exercise here. Feet are still hip width apart. Bend through both knees. Elbows are enclosed by your waist. You're gonna shift your weight over to your left leg. Reach the right leg back as you extend the arms. Inhale to draw back in. Exhale, reaching the arms and leg back. Using your breath, bending deep into that left leg. Reaching those arms along, shoulders back, chest is wide. Inhaling and exhaling. We've got five more here. We've got our last four. We've got three to go, two, our last one. Keep the arms reaching long, flip the palms up towards the ceiling, holding here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse the arms up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Swapping over to the other leg, so bend through both knees, shift your weight over to the right hand side, elbows are enclosed by your waist, exhale, reach back that left leg, inhale, step it forward, exhaling, stepping back, inhale, draw it forward, using your breath, keeping your weight over on that right leg, bending a little deeper if you can, starting to feel it in the glutes, elbows are still in nice and tight to the waist, five more here. Our last four, three to go, two, one more here, keep the arms back, flip the palms up to the ceiling, we've got 10 second hold, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse the arms up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and our last one. Nice work. Take those dumbbells. Actually, we're going to come down to the ground. So just take those dumbbells, place them off to the edge of the mat. We don't need them just yet. But draw yourself all the way down to the mat. And from here, we're almost in a bit of a mermaid position. Your knees are bent. Your shoulders are in line with your elbow. I want you to extend your right leg out long. From here, you can either place your hand onto your hips or you can extend the arms out nice and long. I'll show you the exercise first. You're going to inhale here and exhale, press away from the floor, lift up the hips and then you're lowering down. So you can add in the arm if you wish and hold it up there, lower down. It's a little hip dip. So it's a light touch with your left hip. Work into your obliques on the left hand side here. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. We've got six more here. We've got our last five. Four to go. Three, two, and our last one. Hold it up here. Can you float your right leg up? We're holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the right leg, lower the waist, lower the hand. Nice work. Lower yourself all the way down to the ground. You're going to reach those legs out long. Your left arm is reaching long as well. Bring your right hand in front. I want you to inhale, float your right leg off so it's in line with your hips. And you're going to exhale, draw the left leg up and then lower everything down. So it's top leg, bottom leg, lower everything down. Working into your right waist now. Top leg, bottom leg, lower everything down. Top leg. Bottom leg, lowering it down. Working deep within that side waist. Inhaling, exhaling, lowering down. Inhale, exhale, lower it down. Good, we've got five more like this. Nice, we've got our last four. Three to go, feeling this through the obliques. Our last two, nice. And our last one here, keep the legs long. You're going to pulse them up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine
five, four, three, two, one. Lower everything down. Nice work. On this next one, we're going to lift that top leg up. The bottom leg is joining it. We're going to press away with our right hand and draw the upper body off. Inhale to lower everything down. Draw the right leg up, left leg, press away from the floor, lower everything down. Nice work. Continue working through that right waist here. Top leg, bottom leg, press away, lower down. Six more like this. Using your breath, we've got our last five. Good. We've got four to go. Feeling this through the glute and that side waist, our last three. Good. We've got two more here. Legs along. And our last one. Can you hold yourself up here? Little pulses up and down using the upper body and the lower leg, limbs. We've got six more pulses. Five to go. Four, three, almost there. Two, and one. Lowering down. Nice work. You can really feel it throughout that side waist. You can start to feel the inner thigh working as well. Let's come up from there. Roll up to the other side. So you've got your right elbow in line with your right shoulder. Knees are bent. Extend the left leg long here. Arm can reach up towards the ceiling or onto the hip. From here, you're going to exhale, press away from the floor. Lift up that side waist. You're going to feel it because that's the one that we've just worked. And then again, lifting up, a light little tap. Exhale, pressing away. Inhale to draw down. Still working deep within that right obliques. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. We've got six more like this. Our last five. Almost there for four. Three to go. Nice work. Two. Good. Last one here. Hold the hips up. Float the left leg off. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower everything down. Lengthen out the body so that right arm's reaching long, legs are reaching long. From here, our left hand supporting us. We're drawing our left leg up so it's in line with our hip. Our right leg's coming up to meet it. Inhale to lower down. Top leg, bottom leg, lowering it down. Nice. Working into that left waist now. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep reaching those toes long, belly buttons towards your spine, and you're just supporting yourself with that right arm. Inhaling, exhaling, lowering down. Good. Working into the abductor as well. Sorry, the abductor and the abductor actually. Using your breath, we've got five more like this. Good. Feeling this through the sideways for our last four. We've got three to go. Two, and our last one here. Keep the legs long, we're pulsing up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, lowering it down. And with that top leg, we're going to draw it up. Bottom leg is joining up to meet it. We're pressing away from the floor and then lowering everything down. Top leg, bottom leg, pressing away. Lowering everything down. So continue working through that side waist. Inhaling, exhaling, pressing away, and then lowering down. Nice work here. Starting to feel this through the glute as well. Good. And just tightening up that waist. Five to go. Before we've got our pulses, our last four. Belly buttons to spine. Three to go. Pressing away from that floor. Our last two, nice work. And our last one here, hold yourself up here. Tiny little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lowering down, nice work. Rolling onto your back now. I just want you to reach the arms out long. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, float the arms up in line with your shoulders, nodding your chin to your chest, re-stacking up nice and tall, reach those arms over long, look towards your shins, and then re-stack up tall. Good, so from this position, we're keeping our legs long. I really want you to press, so you're creating a nice long line with your back. With your hands, place them on either side of your head, and from here, 
I want you to rotate, similar to what we did at the start, and then draw back through centre. And then again, rotating over to the left. Inhale, draw back through centre. Exhaling, adding in that rotation. Shoulders are down, chest is wide. Adding in that rotation. One more on either side. Working into that spinal mobility. Last one here. Good. From here, hands are still on either side of us. If it gets too challenging, just keep your, reach your arms long. Otherwise, hands are on either side of the head. You're going to roll off the sit bones. Draw yourself down. So think about drawing your belly button to spine. And relax the head down. I want you to exhale. Keep the head, the legs nice and heavy. Nod your chin to your chest. Don't let the legs lift. Draw yourself up to that seated position. Add in a rotation towards the right. Draw back through centre. Roll off your sit bones. Draw your belly buttons to spine. Release the head at the end. Keeping the legs heavy, nod your chin to your chest. Draw yourself up. Stacking up nice and tall, rotate to the left and draw back through centre. If that's too much, keep the arms long. Rose, roll all the way down. Draw the hands in line with the shoulders. And then exhale, reach the arms out long. Open out your right arm. As you twist, draw back through centre. Roll off the sit bones, draw your belly button to spine. Reach the hands overhead. Exhale, draw your chin to your chest. Stuck up tall, left hand's coming out. Nice. Let's do four more like this. Getting that mobility throughout the thoracic. And feel like your rib cage is gliding. Keeping those legs heavy. We rotate towards the right. Draw back through centre, rolling off those sit bones. Belly buttons to spine, controlling this movement. Nice. Exhaling, getting that deep abdominal work. Stack up nice and tall. Over to the left. We've got our last one here on either side, coming up now, good, exhaling, feeling this throughout our deep muscles, opening out, good work, our last one here, rolling off, nice, exhale, nod your chin to your chest, re-stack up nice and tall, rotate towards the left, draw back through centre, beautiful, drawing your knees in now, we're going to reach those arms out long, still working into those abs, from here, grow up nice and tall, shoulders are down, chest is wide. I want you to roll off your sit bones just like we did. Come to a point where you'll shake, feet are still heavy on the floor. Then exhale, scoop back up, stand up nice and tall, sit up nice and tall. And then again, rolling off the sit bones, rolling back, maintaining that C curve in the spine. Exhale, scooping up tall, arms along. Imagine someone's got strings at the end of your fingertips and then pulling you up tall. Inhale, rolling off. Exhale, scooping up, working those abdominals. We've got four more like this. We've got our last three, rolling off. Nice. Two more here. Good, shoulders are down. And our last one here, rolling off. We're holding it here. Tiny little pulses up for 10. Nine, eight, draw your belly button to spine for seven, six, five, four, three, almost there, two. Last one here, scoop up nice and tall. Good work. You can have a little breather if you wish. Just place your hands around your shins and just stretch that spine up nice and tall. It's a good thoracic stretch as well. Even if you draw your gaze up, halfway up the wall, and then inhale to release. Good, reach those arms out nice and long. From here, we're rolling off the sit bones again. Holding it here, open out your right arm, draw back through center, reaching up forwards. And then again, roll off the sit bones. Your left arm, adding in a slight rotation and draw back up. Arms are long, shoulders are down. Rolling off the sit bones, belly buttons to spine. Using your breath. Holding nice and steady here. Exhaling, scooping up. Inhale, rolling off. Feet are heavy on the mat. Imagine you've got Velcro on your feet. And then again. Restacking up nice and tall. We've got our last two here. Good. Almost there. Nice. And we've got our last one here. 
Good, and then raise back up nice and tall. We're gonna roll off our sit bones again. We're going to reach our arms up towards the ceiling and lower them down in front of our shoulders. And then again, inhaling and exhaling. Maintain that C curve. We're getting a bit of a shake as you draw your arms up over your head or as far as you can get them. Six more like this. Our last five. Whew. Four to go. Almost there. Three. We've got two. And our last one here. And raise back up nice and tall. Beautiful work. Just grab hold of those shins and then stretch the spine up. Bring your gaze forward. Shoulders are down. Feel the shoulder blades drawing down the back. Stretching out that back because we're in flexion for a little bit. And then release. Nice. From here, we're going to come into our leg pull front. So reach the legs out long. Hands are on either side. If it's too much with your hands facing forward, draw them out to the side or at the back here, whichever feels more comfortable. I'm going to keep my hands tracking forward. Just draw them a little bit behind your pelvis here. Shoulders are down. And from here, I want you to exhale, press away from the floor, lift up the hips, draw your gaze up towards the cornices of the ceiling. We're just holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower everything down. And then again, exhaling, pressing away from the floor, lifting up the hips, gazes up towards the cornices, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Lower everything down. We've got one more set of five. Exhale, pressing away, lifting up the hips, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Lowering everything down. Good. On this next one, we're going to float our right leg off. Exhale, press away from the floor, lifting up the hips, float your right leg off, press in with that left heel, hold for five, four, three, two, one, lower that right leg, float the left leg off for five, four, three, two, one, lower the left leg, lower yourself down. We've got two more sets like that. Exhale, lifting up the hips, arms along, float the right leg up, holding for five, four, three, two, one, lower the right heel, lift the leg for five, four, three, two, one, lower the left leg, lower yourself down. You can really feel this in the arms. We've got our last set here. Let's do this. Exhale, pressing away, lifting up the hips, holding up for five, four, three, two, one, lower the right leg, lift the left for five, four, three, two, one, lower the left leg, Lower yourself down, nice work. While I've got you here, draw those knees in. Palms are still facing forward or hands are still facing forward. You're gonna lift off the hips. We're tricep dipping here. So bending at the elbows, send them back. Exhale, press away. Inhaling and exhaling. Five more here. Four to go. Three, two, and our last one. Lower the hips. Have a little breather. You can roll out the wrists if you wish in one direction and then roll them out in the other direction because we've got three more sets of that. Place the hands behind you again, lifting off the hips. We're dipping our hips down, bending through the elbows. Exhale, sending up. Inhaling and exhaling. We've got five more here. Our last four. Three to go. Two, last one, lower down, roll out the wrist in one direction and in the other. Last little bit here, seven little tricep dips, hands on either side, lift up the hips, seven here, six, five, four, three to go, two, last one here and lower the hips, nice work. Roll out those wrists in one direction and then again in the other. Beautiful work here. All right, we're going to lower ourselves down. Float your legs into tabletop. We've got a nice neutral spine, hands are on either side, and we've got a bit of a gap between the small of our back. From here, I want you to inhale, float your knees, they're nice and together, over to the right hand side. 
lift off the left hip and then exhale using your left oblique straw back through center. Inhale, float the legs over to the left. Your right hip will lift. Keep both shoulder blades down. Exhale, draw back through center. So really work through the side waist here. Inhaling, floating the legs over to the left. Exhale, draw back through center. Inhaling. And then exhale, scooping in. Good. Inhaling. And then exhaling. We've got four more like this. The shoulders are still attached to the mat. The only thing that's lifting is the hip. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. We've got our last one here. And exhale, draw back through center. On this next one, you can either continue with that. Otherwise, if you'd like to add in a challenge, inhale, float the legs over. Exhale, reach the legs long. Draw back through center. Bend the knees. Inhale, float the knees over. Reach the legs long. Exhale, draw back through center. Bend the knees. So really deepen that abdominal muscle through the side waist by adding in that leg extension. It just adds that little bit of extra weight. Draw back through center. Can we do six more like this? Good, bend the knees. We've got our last five. Bending through the knees, four to go. Bend those knees for our last three. Exhale, draw back. We've got two more here. Nice work. And our last one now. Draw those legs back through center. Bend those knees. From here, we're coming to our move of the week. We've got our hundreds. Float those hands up. Start pulsing those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. You can reach the legs long. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. You can lower those legs down. Get that challenge. We've got seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Twenty to go. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Last ten. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Draw your knees into your chest. Give your lower back a little rock on the floor and reverse that direction. Nice work. All right, reach behind the legs. We're just going to take two goes to rock ourselves up into seated. And our last one here. Nice. From here, we're coming into our quadruped position. I'm oh, sorry, our four point kneeling position. If you have any issues with your knees, you can grab hold of a pillow and that will always, that can help to relieve that pressure. From here, we're going to have our shoulders over our wrists, knees in line with our hips. We're rounding through the back, look towards your belly button, really press away from the floor. And then inhale, let's release that tailbone, release the head, look forwards. And then again, exhale, scoop up through the abdominals. Keep breathing out, bringing out that spine. And then inhale to release everything. Release the abdominal work that we've just done. And then exhale and drawing your belly button to spine, rounding through that back, keep pressing away from the floor. Inhale to release, back to neutral. So from here, your dumbbells should be within close range. You're gonna grab hold of one of those dumbbells or the can, whichever you've got. And from here, place it in your right arm, bend through your right arm. With your left leg, you're gonna reach it back as you reach your right arm forward. Inhale to draw back in. Exhale, opposite arm, opposite leg reaches out. So you have to hold nice and steady here. So we're working through our abs as well as our arms. Reach the leg long, reach the arm long. Good, we've got five more like this. We've got our last four here. Three to go. Two. And our last one, keep the left leg long, right arm long. Draw them both down to the ground. Exhale, float up. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Five more here. We've got four. 
Three to go. Two. Last one, hold it up here, pulses for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Nice work. Roll that dumbbell over to the left hand. Now placing all of our weight through our right arm, left leg. Bend everything in. Exhale, we'll reach it long. Inhaling and exhaling. Holding steady through the belly. Inhale, exhale. Keep pressing away from the floor. Your hips are tracking down. And we're using our breath. We've got five more like this. Our last four. We've got three to go. Two. And our last one here. Lower the left arm, lower the right leg. Exhale, draw up. Inhaling and exhaling. Working the glute, working the arm, and working the core. Keep pressing away from the floor with that right arm. We've got five more like this. Our last four. Three to go. Two. Last one, hold it up here, pulsing up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Lower it down, release that dumbbell, come back into a child's pose position. So spread the knees, keep the feet together, reach the arms long. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Walk your hands over to the left hand side. Place your right hand on top, get that stretch and release throughout the right hand side. Inhaling here. And then exhaling, release. Walk your hands over to the right, your left hand's coming on top. Inhaling here. And then exhale, release. Good, from here, you're going to come into a bit of a, a, like a glute stretch. So with your left leg, draw it in front and reach the right leg out long. If this feels uncomfortable, you can come into a pigeon stretch, which is this one. Reaching the right leg long, left leg over the top. Otherwise, for something different, we're going to keep that left knee bent, reach the right leg out long. You can either keep your arms long and look towards the wall, or if you feel like you want a greater stretch, just come down onto your forearms here. Inhaling, stretching out the glute. Keep reaching that right leg out long. And then exhaling. Feeling the left glute release. Using your breath. And draw your gaze to the end of your mat. Inhale. And exhale. From here, come up onto your hands now, and just gonna rock side to side. Just get that deeper stretch again throughout the glute, rocking back and forth, getting that release. Six more here, five, four to go, three, two, and one here. Bring that left leg back, draw your right leg forward, and again, get that release throughout the glute. Keep the arms up here, otherwise, fold yourself down. If you're doing the other way, just swap the legs over and get that release. Draw your gaze to the end, end of the mat so you're not sinking into your scaps. You're still pressing away from the floor, so you're maintaining active throughout the upper body, stretching out that glute. Nice work. A couple of deep breaths here. Let's do one more. Place your hands on either side, press up nice and tall, shoulders are down, just rock that glute back and forth, getting that release. Keep that left leg long. You may even feel a bit of a hip flexor stretch on the left hand side. Six more here. Five to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Alright, 
coming into our book openings because this is always a crowd favourite and one of my favourite exercises. Lying down onto your side, reaching your left arm forward. Knees are bent and they're together. Keep the hips stacked. You're going to reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Opening up, place your left shoulder blade onto the ground if you can. And then draw back through centre. And then again, reaching the left arm forward, drawing it up towards the ceiling, placing the left shoulder blade onto the ground if you can. And then draw back through centre. Hopefully, your thoracic is feeling a little looser than when we first started because we did a few rotations through the upper body. Nice. From here, sweep that left hand overhead. Try and place the left shoulder blade down. Draw it down by your hips and back through centre. And again, rolling that arm overhead. Good. We've got our last one here. Just getting that stretch throughout the armpit as well. And draw back through centre. Nice work. Pressing away from the floor. Or you can flip over. We're coming over to the other side and getting that hook opening stretch. Lying down. Hips are stacked. Knees are stacked. Letting your head rest on that left arm. Reach the right hand forward and draw your hand up towards the ceiling. Placing your right shoulder blade down. And then draw back through centre. If you would like to on the book opening stretch, you can always grab hold of a weight. Because that will help to stretch it out even further. That added weight will open up that shoulder blade. And then draw back through centre. And then again, reaching that arm forward. You don't have to do it with a weight though. Sometimes it's good to get that extra stretch. And then draw back through centre. Now when you're ready, sweeping that right arm overhead, opening up that pec area, sweeping it down by your hip. Draw back through centre. This one might be a little bit difficult with the weight. See how you go. And then draw back through centre. We've got our last one like this, reaching the arm long, circling it around and down, drawing back through centre, releasing that dumbbell, coming up to a seated position. And we're just going to roll our shoulders back for three, two, and our last one here. You guys are all finished for today. Thank you for joining.